Well, hello everybody. How are you? How are you? Yes, my name is Wayne and you still are watching Inside Montclair. Right now I'm here on Walnut Street. I'm just walking up. By the way, I hope you folks got a chance to see the Walnut Street Fair a couple weeks ago. But I wanted to stop by here because there's a guy right here in town that brews his own beer. And I always wave to myself when I see you. Hi. Let's see if I can go in there and maybe chat with the guy. Oh, this is a pretty big place. Look at this. Alright, now I'm gonna probably get a chance to see him soon. Get him to wave hello, hello, hi! Okay, let's see. Maybe he's, maybe he's back here. Oh, I think I found the guy I wanted to talk to. Good afternoon everyone. My name is Leopold Sawadego. Um the head brewer of Montclair Brewery. Welcome to the Montclair Brewery. Well, I want to thank you for letting me stop by. I basically just walk around town and kind of chat with some people. I was down here for the Walnut Street Fair not too long ago, which was a fantastic day. <laughs> and I saw your signs, and I said, you know, if I can actually stop in here one day and talk with somebody. And I think I found it. Are you the owner, sir? Yes, I am. I uh, started up this project a long time ago. I was looking for a space to build a brewery. And we end up finding it last, you know, last year or two years ago, and then we start up building because everything is handmade here, from the furniture to the bar to the call room, everything, everything is handmade. Handmade. So, and by the way, folks, I have been here once before, so I know they have once in a while some music and maybe a special event. How long have you been here now, Leo? We've been here a year and a half now. I can say one uh, a year and eight months. We've been officially open eight months. But it took us a long time to build since everything was built from plumbing to furniture building oh, and yeah, to beer making. Doesn't everything just happen is crafted. One day, does it? No. Huh? Well, do you mind you got a couple messages messages talk to me about what no, you're doing? No, definitely. I'll here? tell you exactly what we have in this thing. Why don't you take a couple Yeah, definitely. Back in okay, here. so come on in. So welcome to my office. This is my office. This, this is, is the brew office. house. This is what we call the brew house. The, the brew, brew house is where the beer get brewed. Now, I'm looking at. A lot of different tanks. This is obviously called the good tank, and I'm sure there's a reason for that. But would each one of these tanks be a, a different beer? Is that how that process? Absolutely. Works? This is a seven barrel system uh, brew house. Uh, the only 14 barrel is the water tank. The water tank. The reason why we need 14 barrel, I get to that. Okay. I explain to you why we need a 14 barrel tank to provide the water. So, but back to the seven barrel system. Seven barrel system consists of. Uh, uh, a mash tun which is allowed us to mash all the grain, extract the sugar uh, in order to boil and then when it comes to boiling we go to the boil, the boil kettle that's allowed us to boil all the liquid and add all the ingredients. It's just like cooking, it's, it's a big pot where you cook a liquid and add all the ingredients you want and turn that finally into a beer. So finally when you finish cooking all the beer you have to cool it down pretty quick. Wow. You go from 212 degrees to 65 degree so you have to cool it down cooling it down we have something we call heat exchange the water glycol and beer all three elements get together in that heat exchange but none of the elements will touch each other they allow the beer to cool down and exit and go to the fermenter for fermenting it would eventually ferment for seven days minimum right after that we extract all the yeast and leave all the goodness and each one of these is a different uh, type, right? Each tank is a different type of beer. How do you come up with the different brands? And because I would sometimes I would imagine maybe something special for a certain holiday or do you do stuff like that? Absolutely. <laughs> it's just like going to a restaurant. Oh, you have to be you have specials. You, absolutely. Cooking and also brewing is you gotta open your mind and find recipe all over the place. What made you get started with this? I start brewing, believe it or not, uh, from when I was a kid. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's what people, if we're supposed to tell people well, that, but that's not okay. Technic, not, not, not brewing technically, technically right? but when I was a kid, I was watching my mother brew. That's where I learned all the technique from. Now, I happen to be standing in front of the good tank, but I also was here once before too, where I saw you wanted to have people have an opportunity of doing like a little sampler. Yes. Where you have a couple, I'll take one shot when I leave, like a couple little glasses and they can try it. Is that well, a definitely. In every brewery, uh, since we have 14 beer on top, we cannot serve 14 glasses, six ounces, 14, 14 beer. You know, you can't drink 14 beer at the time. So I got a friend of mine who could. Maybe I'll have him come down here one day. Yeah, probably. probably but yeah. You, you'll probably be smudged. <laughs> <laughs> but we allowed people 
to get a, to get a taster, which is, we call it a flight in the brewing world. Okay. So you go to any brewery, they, you, you ask for a flight, people, they will give you a flight. Some flight have six beer, some flight have four beer. We have four beer, four ounces per glass. So how do you feel doing all this? What's it like for you? It's a passion. It's, it's my passion. I've been, like I said, I've been brewing for 20 years. I learned to brew from my mom, from watching her when I was a kid, and I was very fascinated about that. That's why I always wanted to open a brew. I think what's so special about Montclair is a person like yourself and a business like this, because it is very unique and special. And I just wanted to say, Heidi has a new neighbor. I'm still going to consider you a new neighbor. <laughs> and I'm going to invite you and stop by and check out some of your samples. Absolutely. But, you know, and you I know, know you, sometimes you have your family, some other people helping you out with this, right? No, definitely. We, we, we build this for the community. And being a soccer coach for a long time. Soccer coach, good. Yeah, I, I, I was coaching soccer in my career. Is one of these special teams Barcelona by any chance? No. You don't like, you don't like Messi? He's one of the best soccer players in the world. No, no. Who's your best I, team? My best, I don't have, I, well, there, there's, there's several of them. It, it so all don't depends. say Real Madrid. It all, it all, I'm, I'm not supporting any team okay, that's right fair now. Enough. I support players. Good idea. There's good a reason idea. for that. I, I used to play professional myself, so that's the reason why I'm behind a player. Well, thank you so much for talking with me. I think it's exciting for people to get a little idea of what it's like to put this together. It's not just going to a store and getting a bottle and opening it up. It's a process. But from what I hear from other people, a delicious process. It is a process. And patience. They're making take time. And at the end, you get rewarded for drinking it. I think that's the best way to do it. Absolutely. I'm going to go out and visit some more people. Leo, thank you very much. And, Thanks uh, for coming. Go create a couple more. Absolutely. Thank you for chatting with me. All right, folks, now I'm just going to go back outside for a second. Was it, now, wasn't that great talking with Leo? It's not easy, but once you figure out how to do it, and this right now is what we're calling as one of these empty samplers. Well, this way you can sit down and taste a couple of different brews. And see which one you like. Now, isn't that exciting? Right here in Montclair. And it's also set up where people come down casually for some music once in a while. They also come down and get involved with special events. I just thought it was pretty cool to stop by and say hi to them. Okay, just to let you know where we just were. Okay, this is where we just were. And I, when I always wave by to myself, bye. Hi, what should I do? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna keep on walking around, so look for me. I'll be in your neighborhood real soon until we meet again. My name is Wayne Robbins. I'll see you next time inside Montclair.